<clears throat> hey guys, you know my TP on a rainy day. Got some work to do. Got my old uh, saber Bowie knife that I keep in here. Works pretty good. Got to polish the stove. I want to clean my uh, lantern and refuel it. Still a little maintenance there. Overdue. Um, but uh, that's what we're doing here. So I gotta have a nice cup of tea after. Probably my uh, alcohol stuff, I would think. But uh, yeah, of course, my pups are coming in out of the rain. Let's see here. I don't have any here. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do in there. up and I uh, got the globe here cleaned up a little bit I have gloves but I didn't put them on yet which is not gonna help me right now but uh, I'll do that so I just lifted the top of the uh, my uh, Dietz I think it's a Dietz number nine I'm not sure but uh, I'm gonna clean this up yep holding up pretty good uh, up here and there but nothing right home about and uh, get this clean up I refuel it got the door open uh, kind of mild though the warm southern breeze came in it's gonna be much cold probably 41 in Fahrenheit tomorrow is a high uh, it's been much cooler but today's kind of warm with the rain and the wind a lot of wind but, uh, yeah, we're gonna clean this up a bit. That looks a heck of a lot better. So, yeah, it's an old uh, saber knife. Used to be owned by K-Bar, but I, I don't know. Uh, it keeps nice edge. Been sitting there a long time. Little bo small bully. Yeah, about six, six, six and a half inches. But uh, I get back to you. I'm gonna light this baby up. And it'll be good. So I've cleaned up nice now, so I gotta polish the stove. Nice fuel bottle.
see the flame right there. Sometimes I have a light up above, but I don't have that right now. So I'm gonna let this heat up. I'll just put a little cross piece on here. I'm gonna use my uh, real billy cup here. And uh, put some water in there. Tea. Got some uh, marking time, just marking time. John from the uh, UK sent me this particular tea in here. And I'm also going to put some uh, onion sun in there too. Put a little pipe in there. Got a bloom already. Let's see if I can bring this in a little bit. See that? A little bit of a bloom. And then I'm going to put the billy cup on there. I'm going to put the uh, little top I have there. Let's see here, this one. Cool. Oh, I gotta put the Harney and Sons in there. So I'll get back to them. Of course, so bad. But of course, always take the tag off because that'll catch fire. Just remember that. Drop it in there. Oops. Okay. Put this on there. I actually fit pretty good on there, but uh, put the cross piece in there. See right there, it's cooking. But uh, yeah. And also, when I want to just use the burner itself, I have a little cross piece here. So uh, right now I'm using in, in the, the go height there. Uh, platform there, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to let that burn, and um, windy rainy day here, not too cold, tomorrow it's going to drop down cold, it has been cold, but uh, yeah, I got the lantern going, got my tea going, I got some uh, oops, it's got a Shortbread. Let's show that down there. Bloody thing. And it's uh, that's this one here. That's Duncan's D side, but I also have shortbread something or other from Edinburgh in there. Two different kinds. It doesn't really show too well. Hey, five second rule, man. Anyways, we're. we're Very low tea, man. So, that should cook up pretty fast. Lantern looks real good. I shined it up. Clean it. Put some more fuel in there. Could use more fuel. But I polished the stove. Can't see it too good right now. But I, that was my mission. Polish the stove, get it going, ready to light it tomorrow in case my friend comes over. Probably won't. But, uh, basically getting it ready for the winter. I got uh, a lot of wood there, you know, just a cap, simmer, simmer cap for the alcohol stove. Um, a lot of nice wood dry for the winter, ready to go. But, uh, yeah, so we're doing okay here. So I'll get back to you when we, uh, have the tea. The only thing I forgot was my wooden cooks, but I do have a uh, tin cup. 
and I'll uh, or my canteen cup and uh, we'll see maybe I'll use the tin cup this time I don't know I don't know we'll see but uh, it's making noise already but it's very breezy I have the door wide open and um, you know but we're pretty good here we got a southwest uh, wind and a lot of rain so but uh, yeah making spoons as you I made a cherry spoon last night marked a whole bunch of spoons my friends coming over we're gonna give him some we're gonna trade some stuff too so but um, yeah so I got back to Quinesimo fair rod and uh, I'm in my service teepee service shelter get away from the crazy world but uh, we're doing fine man we're doing fine get back to now tea's ready it boiled and um, ran out of fuel which is good so this is fine bring a little billy cup man from the can a little wire top on there nothing fancy as I always say but uh, yeah it should be pretty good so I think I'm gonna use the uh, canteen cup let the stove going tomorrow we'll see I think I'll just use the canteen cup for now and a little cloth here for pouring. I don't pour it all at once, but uh, put it down here or in the cross piece. I put the top back on there, keep it uh, keep it hot. Now, if this was tomorrow, I'd definitely have that alcohol stove going to get some extra heat, but I'll, I, I, I want to burn all the stuff off the stove, just polish it, so that's what we're going to do, and then we're going to, I got some shortbread here, just so you know, I mean, on the back here, I have like, on the back of the stove, you can't see it, but I have like a, a tin from smoked salmon, and it fits right in the back of the stove, use it as like a heat shield, because I have my, my wood over here, keep that in mind. And uh, just on a little note, I kind of keep this as a shield, this thing here. You see, there's two pieces to this and they fold and you cook over it. I don't recommend anything that requires any type of pressure like that because it happened to me one time and you'd almost start a fire. Um, these pop open and tip over your alcohol stove or whatever you're doing and you got a problem, I don't recommend these see if you can see it yeah you can see it right here um and there's another piece that goes here now if it's just a plain triangle piece and it has the cross pieces going across it like the looks out of those are fine uh or the 180 stove and um those are fine and strong but if you got something with tension and you're doing stuff they can pop open and start a fire I don't recommend it but i use this as a shield now on my uh my stove pipe here but uh, I didn't polish up the outside uh, pipes here yet because um, um, you know, it's wet out there, I mess around. Another thing I keep in here is my uh, wood gas stove and I can actually burn that down below as is because it rises out and I got the door open, no, no problem burning wood in there or, or wood pellets. But um, yeah. But uh, oh, that looks nice, man. Nice and clean. That's a, a Deets number eight. I think I said number nine. I don't know. Think of the song. But uh, yeah. So that's it. I'm just going to have some tea. Ooh. Yep. I think I had about one ounce in there. Fuel. Got a better fuel bottle. You know, accidentally spill it. But. Mmm, my canteen cup. Mmm. Oh man, that's good. Mmm. 
And then with the shortbread, damn. Oh man. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Nice man. I have a little bail I put in there too, but uh mm. excellent. I'm not eating a regular lunch today, so I'm just having a little tea with some of my shortbread. And uh that's fine. I would like the rain light up a little bit. Let's see what happens. Cold front be coming in. It is coming in. Good stuff, man. Mm. Mm. So I keep a coffee in my tin cup over there. Got a gas stove in there. And uh, my Harney and Son G10. Keep my tea and some coffee in there too. But uh, so, it's going to the Eskimo Fair Run. What am I? I have to work on. What am I up to? I have to work on my canvas tents. I have my small wedge tent where my son and I put a stove in there or stove jack and a stove. I've used it. I have a winter fest in February coming up. And I was going to do my hammock out there, but you know, with all the activities and everything else, and I don't know what the weather's going to be like. I'm going to set it up near where the, the shed is way in the woods. And uh, I set the tent up there, the wood stove, and I'll sleep in there. Not gonna mess around. That way, if any of the guys want to go in and just uh, hang out, if the weather's bad, we have a big bonfire too. But they can go in there and kick back a little bit up at the cot in there, and a little chair or something. They can just hang out in there on the cot. But uh, that's squared away. My these are eight arcade lodges, high made for the snow, canvas tent, stove jack in it, stove. Um, that's good. I may use that in Feb. Uh, beginning of March but we may have more people coming so we'll either use that and my 10 by 12 which I my Yakima tent 10 by 12 but it has a couple leaks in it so and I have a stove and I put a stove jack in there made made that stove jack but um, I gotta work on my tents and uh, I have to check that out and waterproof that a little better we'll see what happens uh, very likely uh, snow around that time, but uh, if it doesn't, it could get rain too, so I have to watch the leaks, because I'll have some new people coming and they have to get used to all this mountain man type stuff. So, excuse me, want to make them comfortable. So, we'll fit about five of us in there. So, that's what's going on. I always have things going, and then the spoons is just like, I always want to do that, so always do that. So, it's going to ask more fear around. Peace, freedom, remember. And um, thank God for another day. I'm feeling pretty good. Legs are feeling much better. Um, so, you take care. And I'm going to finish my tea in the canteen cup and my billy cup. The stove is all polished. Lantern's fine. I'm doing good here, man. Take care.